Hey, if you like anime, you got to come join us at the Goosh, our Patreon. Link is in the description. And even if you don't like anime and you just want to support the channel, come on over and join us at the Goosh. Won't be creepy at all. Okay, guys, here we go with another Family Guy. Try not to laugh. And this one, yeah, this one's going to brutalize me, guaranteed, because <laughs> it's a Joe Swanson collection. This is from Portuguese. It's called Joe's Top 10 Freakouts. Now, <laughs> we all know that there are very few people around anywhere who can freak out more eloquently and often than Joe Swanson. With good reason. Life does take a shit on him on the regular. And <laughs> let's be fair, all that shitting on him is is why we enjoy watching Joe Swanson so much. Yeah, th this is going to be a beating for me. Come on, let's go. Oh, great, it's here. That mirror I bought on eBay. Oh, my God! Ah! Ah! Joe, my God, what happened? You just what? ran over me, you bastard! I don't know where you, you got bastard? that thing, but I'm impounding it! <laughs> look at you, you look like a half-empty toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I've seen that before, but I forgot about that. You look like a half-empty toothpaste. That's just beyond brutal. I mean, <laughs> we talk about, you know, life shitting on Joe. Come on, <laughs> half-empty toothpaste. Uh, I want to live on Peter's block. Nah, may maybe not. Back to the Fox I like News being a full toothpaste. Ah. Oh, God, that new Fox News reporter is so freaking hot. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Latimer for Fox News. Here are tonight's top stories. Oh, she is just so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that she would probably laugh at. You bitch! Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it a, I'm going to laugh at all 10. <laughs> you bitch, come on, it's Joe Swanson. There's just, it doesn't matter if I've seen it or anything else, just listening to him freak out. Patrick Warburton is the best. That's all my life is lately, just a bunch of chores. Ooh. Sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire, tire tracks, tracks out of the carpet. Okay, I'll try because. Mm. Let me pause for a second Because I know what's going to happen I've seen this one several times I'm going to try not to laugh So at least there's one Is it cheating pausing? So what? Learn to live with it, Bonnie There are tracks People make tracks That wasn't a laugh Okay, let's get right to the next one So I can blame it on this one Hey, uh, Joe. Oh, don't say it, Peter. No, I was just wondering now. Uh, Peter, I swear to God. What's your handicap? Oh, 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 every hole. That's a every joke that hole. just doesn't get old. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder how many, I wonder how many years of active life Warburton has taken off of his voice box from playing Joe Swanson <laughs> and having to do all these freakouts. Oh, you can't possibly believe this. You know who Peter is. I know, Lois, but this man has all the paperwork. Oh, come on. This is identity theft. I hate to have to do this, but I'm afraid legally I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sir. Thanks, Joe. Clam later, we'll hoist a few. Sure, Peter. Joe! Hey, not so fast, pal. Those are my clothes. Oh, come on. You heard him, fella. Take him off. Right down to the poop sack. Because everybody's got to have a poop sack, right? I mean, you would think. What? You don't all wear a poop sack? Damn it, Bonnie! You lied to me about the poop sack! <laughs> Shit, I thought I was going to make it. <laughs> Bonnie lying? Oh, no, what are the odds? <laughs> uh... Whew. Thanks for having us over. Yeah, it's a wonderful dinner. And on this beautiful new china, you guys have a lot of new stuff. Yeah, Lois has been splurging her ass off. Yeah, she has. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. So just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a soccer horn! I know what it is! Now, if I don't think I'd seen that one before. That that was pretty good. I know what it is. Oh. You'll Just excuse me, I have some death to defy. Evil Knievel gloves?
Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Wait a second, how is that a Joe freak out? Oh, wait, oh, is it still coming? What the hell, what the hey, hell Joe? happened there? Good morning, Peter. Oh, okay. I'm here to revoke your driver's there license. There it is. What? Why? We got reckless driving, disturbing the peace, plus the driver of one of those other cars was a virgin whose hymen was busted by the airbag, so rape. Okay, well, I guess you can... <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to call? Hyman take Busters. Take my license. Of course, it's all the way up here. Oh, yeah, dick. This is in real poor taste. That was so deserved. No, Joe 100% on that. <laughs> that was entirely deserved. <laughs> yeah, give him the nice thing again, Joe. You know, Lois, we're just lucky we got this under control before the police caught on to you. Hold it right there, Lois. You're under arrest. Uh -oh. oh, crap. All right, look, just, just take Freaking it easy, cops. Joe. All right, Lois will go peacefully. Oh, my God, I am so embarrassed. Let me just get my purse. It's going to take off, right? <laughs> and we make fun of Joe, and really, he's kind of a superhero. Very Terminator like. Sorry, Lois, regulations. I can't give you any special treatment. It's okay, Joe. I understand. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Peter, it's been eight hours and I oh, haven't been back from Cleveland or Quagmire. Oh, I understand. I Joe. This is my wheelchair. There I've seen this one a like bunch it, of times. This one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I, I am useless. useless. Shut up. Okay. I, I still love where the phone goes. Okay. Cause, oh, some that didn't make the list. All right, Quagmire, time for your lap dance. No, guys, oh. I can't do that. It's degrading to women. Come on, Quagmire, it's got to be you. I'm married, Quagmire, Cleveland's got foot odor, and Joe's dead from the waist down. Oh! Why do you bring me here? Man. That's brutal. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, Joe, you could squeeze titties. And that would be even more, I guess that would be even more <laughs> antagonizing. Okay, hey, never mind. all these chicks. Oh, wow. Wow, if I were a woman, I would press my bare boobs up against glass in public just for the sexual thrill! The sexual thrill! I spent my re- <laughs> He'll be okay. <laughs> Fund on a digital TV with surround sound. It's got headphones so I can watch my Steven Seagal movies without waking Bonnie. Oh, God, Steven Seagal. Can't stand him. Yes! Lock and load! Lock and load! <laughs> I'm in pain! <laughs> Oh, good thing you got the headphones. <laughs> ah, don't be a bitch, Bonnie. <laughs> that stripper has a no, rash on her ass, just like does. Anna Lee used to get. All right, yeah. And that other stripper's sitting on that guy's lap, just like Anna Lee used to do. I guess. And that stripper only has one tooth, like Anna Lee. Uh oh. Wait, man, you feeling okay? I don't know. I think I might have made a terrible mistake. I abandoned my daughter. Why did I give away my only daughter? <laughs> Oh, God! <laughs> It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. Is it a little disturbing that it was so accurate that so many things a stripper would have might be they might have in common with a, a baby? Yes. I just hate the way <laughs> the everyone rash gets on the so into everything. work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm going to have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said, don't share answers! Pay attention to what the stripper said. God damn it, Peter. <laughs> there was an outside chance I would actually have done my homework if a teacher looked at... Nah, I still wasn't going to do it. Jimmy Max House of Steak. Plus bonus steak. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, that's... That's seven 16-ounce steaks. Oh. <sighs> Not bad. Come on, Joe, you haven't even finished one. I mean, that guy had two. I know, I know. I'm terrible. Oh. Which is why I'm going to order the cheesecake. Oh. oh. 
Fucked I'm up so cow. Full. full of what? Estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go. Chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. <sighs> what are they pushing them into this time? I just don't. Oh. Man. Eat it. Eat no. the damn steak. Come on. What are you I waiting for? It, no. 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 Yeah. I said I'm not hungry. <laughs> Easy, sailor. Easy. <laughs> put the gun down, Joe. Yeah, nobody's judging you, man. It's cool. I'll just put this back in your purse next to your tampons. <laughs> <laughs> I hate laughing at that because as much as it's fun to watch life shit on Joe, as we've said over and over, and everybody busts his balls, Brian's such a douchebag. I don't like him getting one over on Joe. <laughs> Somebody else needed to have said that line. Fuck Brian. <laughs>